Hello learners, it is Mrs. Mount here in the Limitless Learning Headquarters and we are here today to work on some skip counting. Um, if you watched our last video we talked about Canadian money and this is kind of a continuation of that if you'd like to go back and watch that or if you're just here to watch skip counting then keep watching. So at first I think we'll count all the way from 1 to 50 and then we will talk about what all these little dots mean. Let's get started! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, <clears throat> 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay, so now you might be wondering, Mrs. Mount, why doesn't your 100s chart go to 100? Well, my house is big, but not really that big, and we have a lot to fit in this space. So we went to 50, and then anywhere past there, we would just double it, or times it by two, or add it by to itself. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna stay just to 50 for the purposes of this video, though. So now let's talk about these dots that are all over here. Now, one of the amazing teachers that I had the opportunity to work with, shout out to Mrs. Tate, um, taught me this amazing way of skip counting with dots. Now in her classroom, uh, she would go through with her class and they would work on the numbers and um, each student each day would be able to add a number up and then, um, add the corresponding dots. Now we can't do that because unfortunately you're not here so I already did them but that's okay because we can just count based on the color. So when I was doing this I color coordinated all the orange ones to counting by two, purple by three, green by fives, pink by tens, and I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And pink by tens. So if you'd like to follow along, we will count by each of them. So we'll count by our twos first, our threes next, our fives, and then we will count by our tens. So let's get started. Two, four, five, for those pink ones. So let's count by fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty,
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so now let's count by our 10. So we're looking for those pink ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that is skip counting on our 50s chart. So now I am going to relate counting on our 50s chart to the Canadian money, specifically the bills and the coins and whatnot. Um, so if you're at that point and you'd like to continue watching, I definitely encourage you to. If you're not at that point, uh, when you do get to that point, make sure you come back and watch this video. Um, but until, until then, stay limitless learners. And now we're back. So, when we were looking at our bills, we were looking at $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, $50 bills, and we don't have it here, but $100 bills. So what you can do is if you have a summer job or if you get money for your birthday or whatever, Say you get a whole bunch of $5 bills and you're like, oh my goodness gracious, I don't know how to count all these. Well, you can use your skip counting skills to do that. And you can do it whether you have $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, 50s, 100s, really whatever you want. You're just going to adapt the numbers that you, that you use. So we will go up to 50 and then if you'd like to continue um, learning and, and growing on those skills, then you can do that at home. So let's start with our fives. So we have a stack of $5 bills. Let's say we have 10 $5 bills. Let's see how many that is. So we are going to say we have 10 $5 bills and we are going to count five for each one. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Or we can do it on our chart if seeing the numbers is helpful. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10 stacks of five. Pretty sweet, eh? Go skip counting! Now, if we were going to skip count our tens, we would be looking for the orange one. So let's say we get five $10 bills. So let's count five. 10, or sorry, we're gonna be counting, we're looking for those pink ones. 10, Hmm. Oh, look, there's another one that must be worth it. If I have two tens, that's where it's going to be. 20, 30, 40, and 50. Or we can just skip count on the chart. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Now, I don't have them marked on here but you could do it with $20 bills too. All you would have to do is on your hundreds chart or when you're counting, just add $20 plus $20 equals $40. Or you could go to 20 and if you have two $20 bills, you could just count another 20. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, or 20. So now we will count that same if we have $20 and $20, but we'll count it as if we're only counting the second $20 bills. So we're only counting to see how much more. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So even if you can only count up to 20, you can still count farther than 20 on your hundreds chart. And you can find out how much a $20 bill and another $20 bill equal just by counting. And like I said, our 50 chart only goes to 50. So all of these numbers combined, if we were to count them, which we already did, we know equals 50. So if we said each of these papers here was equal to a dollar, then this would equal $50. So if you'd like to continue skip counting, uh, you could make your own hundreds chart or fifties chart. You could, um, you could count by sevens, eights, nines. You could really do every color of the rainbow. You could count by 24s if you wanted to. So get on out there, practice your numbers, and I will see you next time. Stay Limitless Learners.